What's going on, everybody? We are back with another episode of Disco Elysium. So, last episode... Can I go back here? No. We found out that my gun is missing. Oh. The theme on that pinball machine is a standard royalist theme. Used on everything, from pinball cabinets to full flavor cigarettes. What are the hallmarks of a royalist theme? Clinging to a picture book version of the past century, waiting for the king to come back and cast out all the profiteers and homosexuals. Basically, imagine a yellow plastic crown with a liquor brand emblazoned on it. I think I'd rather know about the world of today. The contemporary period stands still. The fated carousel of progress that doomed the royalists is itself winding down. Our time is decelerating into what no one knows. Interesting. Is there anything else around here that would pique my interest? Ooh. That sugary black rum stain on the counter makes you teary-eyed with joy. It's almost touching how syrupy and sticky it is. How long have you been up already? Not now. Oh, excuse me. Do you have something better to do than lust for sweet syrupy rum and lemonade? With a twist of lemon? Maybe lime. Maybe who cares? Just rum? Maybe I should lick it before I go? No. Finish the thought. Check on this guy down here. The worker is in a deep slumber. Perhaps he's on his way to where you just came from. Into the primordial darkness? Mmm. Um, nah, I'm just gonna leave. Alright, finish my intro. So, last episode, we phoned in to the home station, the one I work out of, apparently I'm a laughing stop. Not that that was, I don't know, <laughs> I didn't expect anything greater than that, but now we are trying to find my gun, trying to find those papers. Oh, we also spoke to the, uh, I think she's a waitress, I'm not sure. Someone who used to work here. And she quit because of how badly my character acted. And she said there were some papers that I tried to get rid of. And that I'm also on the lookout for those. I'm doing this. We still haven't gotten the body down. Don't know why Kim can't just help me with that. Maybe it's like a... I actually kind of appreciate it. He's making me grow. Ooh, let's check this trash can. Can I check the trash can? No, I cannot. Um, is there anything around here I can check? So those are the things that we're on the lookout for. Oh, 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 oh. No, I don't. I'm not a karaoke guy. Alright, so we're gonna try to find some answers. I was kind of hesitant to boot this back up and play it, but uh, I definitely want to. I just feel like I'm hitting some dead ends here. Just probably designed to be like that. Let's see what else there is around here. Talk to some witnesses, see what we got. I am a gander and a hunter and a gatherer. Feel like a traveler. A simple little cadence. He seems to be making it up as he goes. From another planet. Hey there. Um, what's going it's on? The here? jam, my man. It's a traffic jam for the ages. Harbor gates up the street are shut tight. No explanation given. Workers on strike, scabs agitating, an all around clusterfuck. Meanwhile, we're all stuck here in long haul limbo for days upon days upon days. Upon days. 
How long have you been here? Feels like forever. Like I was born on this here roundabout and this was all I ever knew. Just me and the metal and the tires, the oil and the fumes of mazout. Mazout is an antiquated term for heavy fuel oils. This man has a barely suppressed performative streak. Or he just likes unusual words. Or both. I dig your stuff. Yeah, imagine. It's been a whole week already. He snickers in appreciation of the digging of his style. I love the voice, the narrator's voice. Oh, it's amazing voice acting. Behind the laugh, however, a touch of sorrow. Oh. So tell me, what do you need? It's like, whatever's going on over at the docks. Workers got a blockade set up, making demands. No way in or out. Some pretty wild stuff, I hear. Like a giant new power crane in half the company? I forget what exactly. Good on them, I guess. Mm, good on them. I've heard talk there's a company rep in town, too. Like, a strike negotiator type. They'd know what's up. Precise demands and so on. A company rep in town? Hmm. Maybe the union workers should have control over the means of production. Ah, yes. From the Wild Pines. We'll meet her soon enough, I'm sure. What do you think the company wants? They want to keep that money flowing in, my man. ka -ching. He doesn't blame them, but he's not on their side. That's for sure. Anything else? Yeah, this ain't really my area of expertise. I just do my job and get paid. I have things to do and places to be. All of us do. Us lorry drivers. Cam, your nurse. You still hang around here waiting for this mess to end. Most have scurried off somewhere to get drunk or high. Or laid. Not that I blame them, really. Why not you? Not my thing. Chasing transient pleasures is a drag these days. I prefer the examined life now. Thinking, reflecting, observing. He glances down the road toward the horizon, a glint of something in his eye. Well, do you know anything about the dead man? He ain't one of us drivers. I know that. All accounted for. Otherwise, I haven't really asked about that. Been wasting time right here. Keep him busy. It's easy to see he's telling the truth. He's kept his nose out of the dark stuff. All right, never mind that. The man taps his fingers rhythmically against his arm. Uh, what do you hold? Oh, high-grade narcotics, illegal firearms, stuff like that. <laughs> Time to arrest him. Relax. He's merely joking. Uh, should we joke along with him? Yeah. Ha! No, I'm joking, my man. Found runs a nice, clean business. This hall of cargo is mostly sporting goods. You know, tracksuits and that kind of thing. They usually get shipped to Grad and the Occident. Though we've been making headway in the Il Moran market lately. This rockin' beauty. Sure is. Like a rash you can't get rid of. You interested in heavy duty cargo machinery? A motor lorry, also called a camion, on Caillou and neighboring islands. This one looks roughed up enough to be some sort of found rust bucket. Maybe the A6? Good eye, my man. Yup, she's an old one, but reliable. Me and her spent a long time together. There it is again. A little touch of sadness beneath his cool. He thinks he spent too long in this lorry. Oh, I wonder how I could play on that. Um... Look at these, I'm still wearing these stupid gardening things. Uh... The man taps his fingers rhythmically against his arm. A formidable chance. 28%. 28%. 
Uh, we'll try it. Come on. Ease into it. Don't go too far. This seems like a personal matter. Oh, I think I feel. Mm, can I leave? I don't want to. I don't want to press this. Uh, I'll start with this one. This sounds gentle. I'm okay, man. Just the jams got me down. The fumes, the chemical rainbows, the tarpaulin stretched on the frames, and the dull engines off. Maybe the full-on direct approach wasn't correct. Damn, it's tricky business looking into someone's eyes and not doing it wrong. Okay. Ah, oh, it's locked now. Dog on it. All right. I appreciate. Don't that. be a stranger. stands in the middle of the traffic island pointing towards the sea. It looks as if it's been reassembled piece by piece, secured and mounted in the air with the aid of numerous, numerous ropes and tools. Who is this? Oh wow, a silver plaque on the statue's pedestal reads, I am Philippe III, the squanderer, the greatest of the Philipp Philippian kings of Revachol. Son of Philippe II, the opulent, father of Philippe IV, the insane. What did this king do? Even by the standards of the Philippian kings, old sumptuous Philip was known for his profligacy. Profligacy? Well, he blew through the whole national treasury, starting the decline of one of the penultimate century's greatest superpowers. The suzerain of Revachol. His own maladministration foreshadowed the fall of the monarchy during the anti centennial revolution, an end to his family line and the monarchy on the Insulindian Isola. Jeez, this is just pure knowledge. How'd he manage to blow through the entire national treasury? Stories have it that he had his bedroom converted into a treasure chamber where he stored unfathomable wealth. Krugerrands, bars of gold, ornate weaponry, armor, and various chalices. There were whispers he slept on a huge pile of gold-dipped feathers, like some obese dragon, instead of a bed like a normal person. Uh, how would I, how would he respond to this? Well, I know how he would respond based on what we've seen so far, but how would I like to respond? Yeah. But wait, you haven't even heard about his fabled cocaine addiction. Maybe we avoid this. Philip III's ludicrous bronze likeness looks defiantly up into the sky. Okay. I know I saw something up there. Well, let's check down here now. Oh! Ruins full of snow. No one lives here anymore. Okay. Ooh, what is this? A white tank. Can I equip that too? Uh, no, I can't. I'd have to replace. Yeah. Uh, talk to this person. See what they get to say. The small, wrinkled woman does not greet you. She nods along to something on her radio. A photograph is clutched in her hands. And there is a warm smile on her face. The photo, an ambrotype, 
from the turn of the century, as golden as her smile. It's the warmth of a winter night's fire. Maybe she could give you comfort and shelter, some cigarettes and food money. Maybe she's your... What is Inlaid Empire? It's not like memory. This isn't my grandma. There's no way. No response. Wherever this woman is, your words fail to reach her. Okay, let's try it. Nothing. Her smile just keeps widening. Her hair is gray like lead. Uh, you, uh, let's try it. Wait. She's just a distracted old woman. Better to leave her alone. Okay, if you say so. Okay, let's check this motor carriage. Foreign car, kept in good condition. I love the... Uh, this, uh, oh, oh! A Stars Riker, one of the finest Zimsk-made motor carriages ever. An oldie, but a goalie. Not many people outside of Grad and Revachol West, too, it appears. Hmm. Hey, Kim, check this out. Estash Raiko KK2. That's a classic model. Never thought I'd see another one repainted after what happened last time. Maybe, can I, maybe I can impress him. Do I know what happened last time? No, only that the motor carriage is typically baby blue. The colors of Sigismund the Great, an ancient Zimsk ruler. His banners were famously Zephyr and White. The colors of the stars Raiko. What happened last time, Kim? An old case for my precinct. A couple of Zimsk migrants saw a stage Raiko stopped in the street, painted just like this, muddy brown. Murdered the driver on the spot. Ah, oh, I should have guessed it. Doggone it. They said it was an honor killing, Hussar style. The Jim's community protested the trial, flying the banners of some old king or whatever. 5,000 came to protest. Ooh. Correction. 4,395. The fourth largest public protest of a criminal trial in Rivershall. People we are paid to protect. Let's leave it at that. Oh, interesting. wonder what that means. There's some subtext there. What they sent the killers to? Four years for murder in Reunion. The perps were remorseful. Their sorry knocked eight years off the sentence. That's the system. Mm. The prisons in the greater Revachol Industrial Harbor are already full. Prisoners are expensive to maintain. The longer the sentence, the larger the cost. Could our hanged man have been the driver of this car? I tried to avoid drawing far gone conclusions like this before actually examining the body. But my initial guess is the two are unrelated. <laughs> no, I don't want to know what his opinion is on this. All right, good. Let us in. Who's this? Honest work, honest pay. Gosh, it's a beast of a man. Can I talk to anyone else? We want to make. Alright. I feel like that's gonna be a doozy of a conversation. Oh. Up? Ask me with jolly eyes tilting his head. You're hazy on the notion of a scab. Smells like politics, though. Maybe it's got something to do with the flask he reaches for from time to time. Hmm. What exactly is a scab? A kind of a worm. Content with mere survival. They come, they want to do our job for shittier pay, screwing over both themselves and us. Everybody loses. Hmm. Where'd they all come from? It's me. Somewhere in the ground, I think. Oh, 
Call me manana. You don't seem to like them very much. Gotta be bloody stupid or freaking evil to scam. Or I guess scared, maybe. But scared of what? Of who? Hmm. Personally, I'd rather beg than scam. If the gentleman shouting on the street came begging, maybe they'd have gotten something. Have you tried talking to them? We've explained the matters, but they don't listen. This lot would be reasonable and go home if the big guy wasn't riling them up all the time. Ah. Right to work. I don't know. I don't know the political implications of this. It's late when I'm recording this, so I don't. I'm not going to delve into that. I was just messing with you. No one's ever seen a cop scab. Imagine, you cops going on a strike, but then another cop comes in and says, "Let us cop for less money." <laughs> Speaking of, what brings the RCM here, to the wild north? Come to see the strife? Um, murder. murder, huh? That sounds like a lot of hard work. You'd never see me investigating a murder. Hmm. Let's try. Uh, Kim, don't listen. That's okay. I have no idea what I'm doing either. I don't even know what day it is. Don't tell me. It's a better day that way. Hmm. What's the strike about? You know, serious business. I'm sure the big boss will be glad to tell you. You'll have to ask him first. He's a chatty guy. Wants to talk about the strike. Return once you've met the union boss and are on a better footing with the organization. Okay. Oh boy. Can I go up here? Unions are a scam. Oh, I can. What does this say? Freed. Several packaged raincoats fill a low shelf beneath a display of croissants and juice bottles. The raincoats are transparent, except for the big Fritta slogan on the back. What's that? What is what? Um, it's a raincoat. If you want to buy one, then it's only for real. Is there anything else here? The tear machine stands in the corner. A sign says, one bottle equals 10 cents. No, you need tear to use the tear machine. I don't know what tear is. All right, let's talk to her, see if she knows anything. Welcome to Frit. Feel free to look around or something. Everything is out on the shelves. What's that magazine she's reading? Conceptualization? I wonder what that governs. What are you reading? You mean this? This is Pop Stars. It's got, like, famous people in it. It's not for sale. Looks like it also has something called Police de la Mode, featured on page 34. This speaks to you. Oh. Uh. Um, it's where they rate different outfits famous people wear. It's kind of funny. They're kind of mean. It's about who's the most stylish.
She looks like she's wearing a Burger King crown. Uh, I bet your hat would take the prize. Uh, so who's the most stylish there? Can't be anyone from here. Point to her hat. I bet your hat would take the prize. Some of these like could be considered as humorous, but like she doesn't know me. Uh, let's see. Does he look like that's? We'll go with this. Um, no, I don't like it. I hate it. Oh great! Well, that failed. We are not the fashion police. We're the real police. <laughs> Thanks, Kim. Um, okay. I'm not really supposed to be chatting to anyone, but. Uh, do you have any money? She you? looks up from her magazine, eyes filled with tired ennui. Yes, what we have is there, in the medicine cabinet. Go take a look yourself. Can you tell me anything about the dead body? Um, I don't really know anything. I mean, I know it's there, but I haven't seen it, so... Do you know who did? Not really. Um, no. I didn't know him at all. I don't know really long. Hmm. Um, I don't know. No need to worry. It's just standard procedure for us to ask around. If you hear anything, let us know, okay? Thanks, Kim. Okay. Thanks for Uh-huh. Ammonia. Did I use ammonia last time? Medicine cabinet. And over here? No. This is just the rain. You curtain. see several packets. Right there. How much is a small cabinet on the wall is filled with various medicine bottles, nasal sprays, and blister packs. They all bear the Saint Baptiste Pharmaceutics logo. Their logo is the bloodless rose, pure white, untouched by harm. Um, just ask me if you need anything from Saint Baptiste. We don't stock prescription meds, but we do have Nosafed, Duramine, Magnesium, and Hypnogamma. Hypno Gamma. What are those products? Um, I don't know. Let's see. Nosafed is a nasal spray. Dramine is a really good painkiller. Magnesium is a dietary supplement. Hypno Gamma is. I don't really know what Hypno Gamma is. I guess it makes you feel less shit. It's recommended to use after lots of partying, studying, or exercising. Thank you. Uh huh. I thought there was ammonia in there. A colourful display of cigarettes and alcohol bottles line the shop wall, inviting you closer. No. Didn't I use ammonia last time? Uh, this might take some time, pay for damages, track down my badge and my gun. The map. Talk to this gallery. All right, so we've gone down, we've gone around. Let's see, is there, can I go up this way? Oh. We've talked to her. Ooh. Whoa, what have we here? A bridge. a bridge with loose nails and rot infested wood that creaks in the wind. A construction code violation if there ever was one. Guess so. Just be careful out there. One false step could cost you dearly. 
<laughs> That's not encouraging. Uh, yeah, we're gonna save it. Oh, let's talk to the bird. Cormorant. Cormorant. Recently painted. Okay. Roundabout north. Did she spill all the paint? Oh, I see now. Hey, the streets will flow red there, once Pega. more. A great torrent rushing down Rue de Esperance. You wait and see. The girl stares at the sailboat by the pier. The streets will not flow red with anything. Who are you? Oh, Kim. I'm Cindy the fucking Skull. What else do you want to know? Date of birth, blood type, the last time I was tested for hep C. What would I? Cindy the school. And here I was trying to be polite. Just can't win with you pigs. A brush, an artist. The red splatter is urban expressionism. Um. You keep looking off to the side, what are you looking at? She nods disdainfully toward the woman performing maintenance on the boat docked next to the pier. Disdainfully. Hatred, disgust, it's difficult to tell which of the two is more present in her girlish features. The woman on the boat does not notice her staring. Hmm. That is on her. Someone's got to keep an eye on her. Ozon is an archipelago two days travel away from Rivershot. Its moneyed residents used to posh restaurants and upscale boutiques rarely have reason to visit Martinez. Hmm, yeah, why is she here? Probably the Wild Pines rep. We should talk to her. Oh. She's a professional negotiator, though. I have the feeling she will be very cooperative while telling us nothing. Hmm. You should take the lead. Ask her unexpected questions, you know? Do your thing. Don't be afraid to get a bit wacky. Throwing her off is our best bet. Oh, <laughs> thanks, Kim. Good idea, piggies. Run along now. Fuck her shit up good. <laughs> Impound that boat while you're at it. I'd like to watch her swim back to us on. What are you doing to the wall? Can't you tell? I'm painting a beautiful mural. An aereo graffitio visible from low orbit. I haven't really started it yet. I'm waiting for the right words. Oh boy, my character loves to give his two cents, huh? Uh, let's chime in. What do we have to lose with this person? Yeah? Um, you're doing what you're doing. Thanks. I'm sure the inspiration will come to me now that I have an official RCM stamp of approval. She means the opposite. You've lessened her desire to deface the building. Is that a good thing? The game's not gonna tell me. Do you know anything about the murder? I ain't no snitch, Pigstein. Go forth and forage in someone else's shit. No shortage of squealers in these parts. Actually, there is a shortage of people who talk to us in a normal, calm, informative manner. We weren't put on this earth to make your life pleasant, fucko. Okay, all right, bye. Watch your back, ungulate. You've got eyes on you. Ungulate. Hmm. 
Oh, I should. Oh, wait a second. More construction here decades ago. Okay. All right, guys. We're going to save it there. And next time we'll pick up and talk to the union rep. And, I mean, no, this is the corporate rep. And then following that, we'll go talk to the union rep. See if we can make some progress. Thank you guys so much for watching. Here, let me face you. Can I zoom in? Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate it if you watched this far. Or just watch in general. If you like the video, feel free to leave a like. And if you like the content we make, we'd love to have you subscribe. But either way, no matter what happens, I'm just glad you watched. Thanks for being here. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.